Hi, this is Thomas from Network Wireless System Laboratory, News Lab. Today we are going to show the demo of LT Wi-Fi radio level integration. And here is the architecture which we have developed. This LT Wi-Fi radio level in integration architecture makes Wi-Fi interface coupled to LTE network, but the existence of Wi-Fi network is not known to the LTE core network. This is how it works. This architecture we have slightly modified from what 3GPP has did and we have implemented using a link aggregation layer aggregating between LTE and Wi-Fi interfaces. And this link aggregation layer regulates the flow at uh, granularity of flow level, packet level and bearer level between LTE and Wi-Fi interfaces. For LTE Wi-Fi uh, radio level inter working demo, we have here LTE network which is set by open air interface and we have uh, open air E node B, open air core network and open air core network contains open air EPC and open air HSS and open air E node B is coupled in a non-collocated fashion with Cisco access point and uh, we have a commercial UE Nexus 5. Now the commercial UE is downloading a file from a remote server. We have a remote file server. So this UE on downloading a file simultaneously through both LTE and Wi-Fi interfaces. It looks to the entire network LTE network that there is one flow in which is through the core network, but actually the flow gets splitted into two parallel streams only at the LTE E node B. LTE E node B splits the flow through LTE interface as well as Wi-Fi interface. So they are aggregated only at the link level and none of the core network has a knowledge that this particular flow is being further splitted at the link level. So this is the power of this radio level interworking architecture. And uh, when, I, when I download a, a file, you could see that there is a rise in the power level of both LTE and Wi-Fi interfaces simultaneously. When I try to download a file, you could see that there is a rise in the power in the LTE and Wi-Fi channels. Hi friends, this is Sumanth here. In this our LWAP experimentation, we have used two B210 boards for sensing the power level in each channel in, that is in LTE and Wi-Fi. So in the screen we can see there are two sections in the left side is for Wi-Fi and right side is for LTE. In Wi-Fi part you can see it is running in 2.412 GHz whereas in LTE it runs in 2.68 GHz. So initially we can see there is constant level of power in both the channels like LTE and Wi-Fi. We have one uh, remote server where we are downloading a file by using our LWIP technology. So you can see initially there is constant level of power in both the uh, technologies like LTE and Wi-Fi. So once we start downloading the file from the remote server, you can see there is a rise in power level. We have used here an uh, Android app uh, which is called as High Priority Keeper. Uh, which we uh, tweaked it, it is an open source uh, uh, to enable both interfaces simultaneously. I am just enabling both interfaces simultaneously at this particular point. And then I have I've, I've written uh, my own app which uses both interfaces to download the uh, same file. I am trying to download. I have just uh, enumerated like list of different file sizes to observe uh, what, what is the performance in different file sizes. And uh, I am just trying to download one of that file and here is that value, here it goes. Now you can see there is increase in power level in both the Wi-Fi and LTE channel. You can see in LTE there is significant amount of rise in power level and Wi-Fi as well. Because you are downloading a file from a remote server which, which uses both the LTE and Wi-Fi technology simultaneously. Thank you. This concludes LTE Wi-Fi radio level integration demo. Numerous operators have shown interest in this LTE Wi-Fi interworking at radio level. We are taking this solution forward further into a cloud based solution. The advantage of this particular LWIP architecture depends on its flow and packet level routing. If this flow and packet level are effectively routed, then it will become a competing technology to LTE in unlicensed. Thank you.